All right, last step for making this, we are going to uh, cut what's a little domino hole. And we're going to cut one uh, in this apron here. And we'll also cut one in the end of these aprons. And then we put a loose tenon in there, and that's how we connect those together. So we're going to use a Festool domino to set that up. Um, I've got a little block that's got an angle on one side that allows us to keep the angle here, but give us a perpendicular edge to cut that domino. So we'll do one like this, one like that, another one like that, and another one like that. All right, so we got the first one in here. Now we're gonna move it over to this side and clamp it down and do the second side. So second one done, same one on both sides now. Um, so there's these little guide pins on here that allow us to keep this distance the same for both sides. So now I wanna do the opposite side, so I need to push these in. And pop these out. And so now I'll be able to do flip it over 180 degrees and do this side. I'll see if I can do this uh, left or uh, one-handed. Uh, this is sitting in here like that, and we're gonna punch that down. And then back out. Uh, the uh, setting here is uh, 15 millimeters. If it's any bigger than that, it's going to go through the other side. So we got to make sure that all our settings are set right uh, for that. And uh, you can see that we've got two domino holes here and two over here. A and D go together on this side, like that. And so we're going to take these lower aprons, A and D, and we're going to turn them, put them side by side like they belong on the bench. We're going to turn them both 90 degrees the same direction. We're going to clamp it on the back corner, clamp it down here, and then we're going to cut two more domino holes in each ends of this so that we can slide that loose tenon in there to make that joint. All right, so we just cut both of those. Our letters are on this side, so we're gonna have to switch our pins on the domino. So pop these out, put the other ones in, and uh, do the other side. out and makes that slot. Put that tenon in there, that loose tenon, put it all the way in, mark it, take that measurement, double it, cut it, get four of those, and then we'll do a dry fit. Assembly, we need to put some pocket hold uh, in the back side of this so that we can screw up from the back side and screw that top on. So we'll do that next before we uh, do a dry fit with our uh, dominoes in our tenons. So put a little X on this on all three sides or all three spots where I want it so I make sure I don't put it on the wrong side and put the pockets on the wrong side. This is just going to go in this machine over here. Put it down. Put one edge up against that set pin. Turn the machine on. pocket holes that we'll use to mount the top on. So both aprons have all the pocket holes so we're gonna set that together and do a big dry fit to see how she fits. So we got it all clamped together we got our uh, little angle blocks to keep it tight. Uh, you can see the pocket holes here for the uh, top. Um, our bottom aprons are locked in with those floating tenons and uh, at this point what we do we sand it all up and get ready to assemble it with glue. Yeah, this one, that's how those pocket hole screws work. They go up on a slight angle and they fix the top to the rest of the bench. <laughs> 